<laughs> we're very happy and relieved and um, we're very thankful for, for the High Court, for the judges, for their wisdom and servant. Um, thankful for all of the support that we've had. I'm hoping that this outcome can contribute to the discussion that we're having as a society of how to accommodate people that have neurodiversity, that, that whose brains are made up in a slightly different way, and there is a, an ongoing problem with people with autism in the justice system. It was very unfortunate that um, the prosecution tried to paint my mental health conditions as being uh, made up, fictionous, confabulated, and that contributes to the stigma of people with them. So this decision is important for um, the appropriate administration of criminal justice and also for the humanitarian accommodation of people whose brains work differently. So. I, I am greatly relieved that I'm no longer facing the prospect of being locked up for potentially the rest of my life in a country I've never visited, in conditions that leave a lot to be desired. This legal struggle has kind of defined my life for the last four years um, and it's good that it has come to a satisfactory and a just uh, conclusion which um, again expresses these, these values of compassion and care.